morning everyone hope you all safe with a good health with you Ms. Dina Badri a physics teacher for grade 12 today we will start uh, chapter 21 electric fields uh, section 1 creating section 1 creating and measuring electric fields uh, in this section we will talk about define an electric fields uh, solve problem relating to charge electric fields and forces a diagram electric fields lines what is the meaning of the electric field? Electric field, it is a force, like gravitational force. Uh, it's uh, uh, inversely proportional with the square of the distance between two points object. Both force can act from great distance. How can a force be exerted across... How can a force be exerted across, across what seems to be empty space? Uh, we have a scientist called Faraday suggested that because an electric charge object A creates a force on another charged object P anywhere in the space, object A must somehow change the properties of the space. This means that object P somehow senses the change in the space and experiences a force due to the properties of the space at its location. We call the change a property of the space and electric fields. Electric field. The changed property of space is called an electric field. So the change property of the space, we call it electric field. An electric field means that the interaction is not between two distance objects, but between an object and field at its location. The force exerted by the electric field can do work transferring energy from the field to another charged object. This energy is something you use on a daily basis, uh, whether you plug an appliance into an electric outlet or use a battery or, uh, or uh, operate a device. How can you measure an electric field? Place a small charged object at some location. If there is an electric force in it, then there is an electric field at this, at this point. The charge on the object that is used to test the field, called the test charge, must be small enough that it doesn't affect other charge. Okay. This figure show the charged object with the charge of Q. If you have a charged uh, object uh, called Q, we have an electric field uh, around, this, uh, around this area. There you see, I have a, a charged object. So, in this place, I have electric field. Okay, this figure illustrates a changed, uh, charged object. This figure illustrates a charged object with the charge of Q. Uh, there you see, suppose you play the positive test charge at uh, some uh, position A and measure a force F. Okay, so we have here this uh, charged object and all the area around it, it contains electric field. According to the column law, the force is directly proportional to the strength of the test charge Q. So according to the column law, the force is directly proportional to the force, okay, to the strength of the test charge AQ. This is, if the charge is doubled, so the force also doubled. Ha, the ratio of the force to the charge is, a con is constant because both of them increase together or decrease together. If you divide the force F by the tested charge Q, you obtain a vector quantity. This quantity doesn't depend on the tested charge, only on the force and the location of the point A. Okay, this equation uh, uh, will clarify uh, this point. When I set the electric field at point A at the location of Q, is represented by the following equation electric field strength E equal F divided Q 
the strength of an electric field is equal to the force on a positive test charge divided by the strength of the test charge. So the force of the charge divided on the test charge. This is the electric field strength. The direction of an electric field is the direction of the force on a positive test charge. The magnitude of the electric field the str strength is measured in Newton per coulomb. Okay, so the electric field strength. Ha, what is the unit of the electric field strength? Newton per coulomb. This picture can be made by using arrows to represent the field vector at various locations as shown in this figure. So the length of the arrow is used to show the strength of the field. So, uh, this picture of an electric field can be made uh, by using arrow to represent the field vectors at various locations, as shown in this figure. The length of the arrow, the length of this arrow, is showing the strength of the field. The direction of the arrow is showing the field direction. To find the field from two charge, the fields from the individual charge are added. Uh, added by vectors, okay, it is vectors quantity. An electric field should be an electric field should be measured only by a very small test charge. This is because the test charge also exerts a force on Q. It's important uh, that the force exerted by the test charge doesn't cause the charge to be uh, redistribute. Uh, red okay, let us uh, uh, solve this problem. An electric field is measured using a positive test charge. This test charge, its magnitude 3 by 10 power minus 6 color. This test charge experiences a force of uh, 0.12 meters at an angle of 15 uh, degree north uh, of east. What are the magnitude and direction of an electric field strength? at the location of the test charge. Okay, what are the known parts? Uh, the test charge equals 3 by 10 power minus 6 and the force is 0 0.12 we want the E. E equals F divided Q. So F 0 0.12 Q 3 by 10 power minus 6. So E equals 4 by yeah, 10 power 4 newton per column. Uh, okay, in this part, he wants you to draw uh, the problem. I think it will be very difficult for you, so if you don't want to draw it, okay, that's okay. Okay, that's all. Hope you all understand. Next time, inshallah, we will complete this part. Thank you.